a woman goes into a dentist's office and says, I think I'd just as soon have a baby as get a tooth pulled. The dentist says, make up your mind. I got to adjust the chair. <laughs> well, I thought that was pretty good. Okay, never mind. I think I'm a moth. Hmm. I think you need a psychiatrist. I know. So why did you come in here to the gas station? The light was on. No. <laughs> what's, okay. what's the difference between a nurse and a nun? Hmm. A nun only serves one God. No. The, the well, one case that's, that's I guess that you had to be you got to be in the medical profession. Mm -hmm. no, no. Sir, I give you maybe three minutes to live. Isn't there anything you can do for me, doctor? Well, would you like me to boil you an egg? <laughs> doctor, what seems to be the matter? Patient, I have a sore throat, doctor. I ache. I have a fever, doctor. Sounds like some kind of virus. Patient, everyone in the office has it. Doctor, well then, maybe it's a staph infection. No. Oh. Yeah, these are getting kind of lame. Doctor, yeah. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I hurt all over. If I touch my shoulder here, it hurts. If I touch my leg here, it hurts. If I touch my head here, it hurts. If I touch my foot here, it hurts. <laughs> Doctor says, I believe you've broken your finger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would make well, sense. Quit touching there, huh? <laughs> yeah, quit touching yourself. A 90-year-old man went to his doctor and said, Doctor, my wife, who is 18, is expecting a baby. The doctor said, let me tell you a story. A man went hunting, but instead of his gun, he picked up an umbrella by mistake. And when a bear suddenly charged at him, he pointed his umbrella at the bear, shot at it, and it killed it on the spot. Oh, impossible. Somebody must, else must have shot that bear. Mm -hmm. Doctor says, exactly my point. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> a man accidentally cut off all his fingers with a power saw. When he got to the hospital, the doctor said, Thank goodness for microsurgery. Give me the fingers and I'll sew them back on. The man said, I wasn't able to pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> I told that one already. Oh. Uh, the old family physician took his son into partnership after the son got his MD. The old doctor went off on a two-week vacation, his first in years. When he got home, he asked his son if there'd been any problems at the clinic. The son said, no, everything went well. In fact, he said, you know that rich old widow, Mrs. Ferguson? I cured her of her chronic indigestion. Well, that's fine, said the old doctor. But Mrs. Ferguson's indigestion is what puts you through medical school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, they're devious, aren't they? A woman goes to the doctor and says, Doctor, doctor, you have to help me. Every time I go to the bathroom, dimes come out. The doctor tells her to relax, go home, rest with her feet up, and come back in a week. A week later, the woman returns and says, Doctor, doctor, it's gotten worse. Every time I go to the bathroom, quarters come out. What's wrong with me? Again, the doctor tells her to relax, go home, rest with her feet up, and come back in a week. Another week passes. The woman returns and yells, Doctor, doctor, I'm still not getting better. Every time I go to the bathroom, half dollars come out. What the heck is wrong with me? The doctor says, relax, relax. You're just going through your change. <laughs> Okay, okay, Randy, hello. And somebody else might want to try now. Somebody Can else? You? Somebody else? Okay. Somebody Come on up. Nope. Come on up. No? Oh, you want, you want me to keep going? I'll find you something well, else. Well, why don't you keep going for about five minutes and then let's call it a day. Okay, if you wish. Um, <clears throat> and this I created woman. And she was good. She had two arms, two legs, and three breasts. Mm -hmm. And God asked woman what she would like to have changed about herself. And she asked for her middle breast to be removed. And it was good. 
She stood with her third breast in her hand and asked God what she should be done with this useless boob. And God created man. <laughs> All boobs. <laughs> useless boob. <laughs> Wife, let's go out and have some fun tonight. Husband, okay, but if you get home before I do, leave the hall light on. <laughs> A man's idea of planning for the future means that he buys two cases of beer instead of one. Mm -hmm. Wife, do you love me? Husband, of course I love you. If I didn't love you, we wouldn't have all this damn furniture. Uh, I mean, maybe there's no chemistry left between us, but, well, there's still archaeology. Mm -hmm. <laughs>